morning here at Randall Airport in Middletown as the large balloon fills itself up. Here's a view you hardly ever get to see, the top of the balloon. Increasing the temperature increases the distance between the air molecules in the balloon, thus decreasing the density of the air, allowing the balloon to rise. Warm air rises, cool air sinks. Believe it or not, we are now off the ground. Look at this, we're floating. Here on the ground, the atmospheric pressure is 101.1 kilopascals. Let's see what happens to the pressure as we go a little bit higher up. Yeah, it's uh, gorgeous. 37 the other morning. 40. We're only 500 feet up and you can see the pressure's already dropped, 99.4 kilopascals. This is why altimeters use pressure. The higher up you go, the less air there is above you, and so the lower the pressure will be. The ground is so saturated that this is just on it. That's not supposed to be water. Silt deposition on a golf course. Oh, you want to jump it? From the floods. Instead of sand traps, we use silt traps. Silt, yeah, this is... Throw onions. Oh, look down. Oh, we're punching it. Let's see. We have the... Uh, Crepuscular rays from above. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Crepuscular rays going through trees rather than through breaks and clouds. Interesting perspective from up above. We're a thousand feet up and as you can see the pressure is now down to 97.9 kilopascals. Ah, perfect. <clears throat> Hot air is, is lighter and less dense than the cool air. And that's the reason the balloon floats. Now as we just made a descent... something this morning called the temperature inversion. You feel it's a little cooler down here than it is aloft. And as we came right. down, we were on about a 400 foot per minute descent. But as we got into the cooler air below, we stopped our descent. Right. Because the temperature difference between inside the balloon and outside the balloon became Greater. so great that we had yeah. lift again. Look at that. Yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah. on there, and I can tell you exactly how long it's going to take me to get to you know that farm. Yeah, whether really. I know we're only and a couple hundred uh, feet up. It definitely and look makes at the pressure. It a more enjoyable flight. On the next yeah, descent, I'll keep my camcorder on this. I mean, with boating, <laughs> is this still is this Middletown? Uh, in Goshen now, right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like he's suffering. You know, it's it's very difficult to. <laughs> oh yeah. I got you. I am right next to the final farm. Google Maps is amazing, though. It really is. Down to Goshen uh, 207. You see, as we gain elevation, the pressure is dropping. Copy. Yeah, you don't have to repel out of this. Yeah, that's right. 
Oh, oh my gosh, we got a butterfly right here. <laughs> what the heck are you doing way up here? He's yeah. migrating to Mexico. That's a setup. They, they, they wow. Cue the butterfly. yet <laughs> again. <laughs> Pardon me, but you have me great for power. Roger that, I see you. Looking good. Like a herd of deer. The other one I'm talking about is right around the corner. You gotta wake up every morning looking forward to go to work. Don't stop. Right seat passenger with the mic. I'm coming for landing, get them on my own. Jeez, I feel like Google Earth here. Should hook yeah. the left and go right up that road. Everybody with gloves on. As we come in for a landing, our pressure starts to rise again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, just bend your knees. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Oh, that was a really down-to-earth experience. Uh, what a deflating experience. Yeah.